The blood scandal report must deliver more than just justice, says Andy Burnham. I'm going to read into this exclusive from The Guardian, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Ringing Elite here with an exclusive from The Guardian with the headline of the blood scandal report must deliver more than just justice, says Andy Burden. The exclusive revealed that Labour Mayor argues only fundamental rewiring the political system can prevent more colossal state failures. Guys, while you're here, make sure you hit the like button and share it across social media so others are notified of this video. Now, <coughs> I like myself, many of you are very skeptical of Labour and rinse and repeat, but I think the one of the key fundamental points here that the Labour Mayor has uh, said here, the term colossal state failures, we want to prevent more of that and he is absolutely right in saying that we need to stop things like this, things like the Wingwash scandal. The post office uh, scandal, the, the scandals behind the Conservative MPs, we need to significantly, <clears throat> these kind of things are happening on too many occasions, too many occurrences that these are taking place um, within, the, in, within the UK right now. Like so many have popped up or has not been finished off and uh, the, the justice where people have, to, have desired from all from these scandals and whatnot it just feels like they're going on and on and on and we don't hear we really don't hear and i do cover world news now i don't hear anywhere near the levels of kind of injustice on any level when it comes to some of the european nations uh we are one of the worst without a shadow of a doubt and um more without a shadow of a doubt needs to be done when it comes to this and this blood scandal is obviously unfortunate the, the, the thing is <coughs> The thing is about the blood scandal report, and this is this is this is no defamation against them, because they they have been because of uh, it is simply the only reason why this is not getting nowhere near enough highlight as it should be is simply because of all the other scandals that have taken place around it, um, which is just outrageous, um, and because of all the other scandals that have taken place around it, it's not been given the highlighting that it should. While it has been, it's been acknowledged, and there it looks like action will be taken to a certain extent. It's just not been near nowhere near enough. Now, whether or not these people will get justice they deserve, I don't think. I don't honestly don't know. But again, it should not have happened. And why is it should not have happened? Should never have happened. And why is it taking so long for something to be done about it? So again, you're asking a lot of the same questions and not getting enough answers. Um, so let's read more on what Andy Burden's had to say uh, with regards to the blood scandal report. <coughs> so the final report of the infected blood scandal inquiry must not uh, must not only deliver justice but act as a catalyst to prevent such colossal state failures happening again. Andy Burden has said. The mayor of Greater Manchester, a long-time advocate for victims of the scandal, said a fundamental rewiring of the political system was needed as too many people were being harmed and then wait in decades for justice. This is absolutely true. Like, how long did it take for like for Hills for the Hillsborough disaster, for justice there, for example? It's you know still to this day the Grenfell tragedy. Like, how long is that taking as well? The fine the inquiry's final report will be published on the twentieth of May, uh, detailing more than thirty thousand hepatitis or transfusion uh, recipients were infected with HIV and or hepatitis C over more than two decades, killing an estimated two thousand nine hundred people of them by the end of twenty nineteen. Burnham, who also played a key role in uncovering the Hillsborough scandal, said there were similarities with that blood uh, tragedy alongside the Grenfell Tower fire, the post office scandal, the bloody Sunday killings, and the nuclear test veterans' fight for justice. He said, how is it that so many British citizens have been victims of quite colossal injustices for decades and yet the state has just tried to push them into the wilderness? <coughs> and this is both Conservative and Labour who have tried to push this into the wilderness. You know, not really, not really wanted to take ownership or ownage of this situation. Uh, that's how I feel about it. 
there's a huge list. I think it goes to the heart of the way Britain is run. The system is where we have too much uh, power to the unelected, st- uh, hands too much power to the unelected state. The House of Commons uh, system and the party whip system has the effect of transferring huge power to the unelected state and the power is then often not exercised in the wider public interest but in, section, in sectional rep- rep- republical interest. What else uh, explains ministers in successive governments from the 70s, 80s and 90s and 2000s being given? Quite frankly, untruthful information by civil servants. Exactly. <clears throat> and people are saying... People are saying this is the civil that civil servants are not doing their jobs. How? Like, it's the it's the politicians, guys. the The problem is the politicians. The problem is the is the, the politicians, and the system that it is. As health secretary in two thousand and nine, on the basis of guidance from civil servants, Durham responded to a letter from an ineffective person saying that there was no evidence that people were knowingly given contaminated blood. Only later discovered that it was untrue. He subsequently used his last speech in Parliament 2017 to demand a public inquiry into the scandal, denouncing a criminal cover-up on an industrial scale. In his evidence in the inquiry, Burnham suggested that the corporate manslaughter charges should be considered. Recalling those interventions, the Labour Mayor said, what comes out, uh, since, uh, what comes out since has just reinforced everything I was saying. It is, and they just ignore it. Burnham said MPs have been trying to raise awareness of the scandal for decades. Through debates and parliamentary questions, but just hit the brick wall of Whitehall and all of it just bounced off. It's quite ex- extraordinary, really. Parliament tried to hold Whitehall to account, but just couldn't because they were dug in behind the line. And it was all, I think, because of the Treasury's decision that said uh, that there's just uh, could be no counter sending of levels of financial exposure from all this. Therefore, no one could admit anything, as anything comes down to money and reputation. When when you read that part, Burnham said the contaminated blood scandal reinforced the need for so-called Hillsborough law, which has been rejected by the government. The duty of Condor that we already spoken about in relation to the Hillsborough law will advise the call very strongly in relation to this. As said, as well, he said, the Hillsborough law is about a dirty candle on all public servants, not just police, but all public servants. It should be a criminal offence for a public servant to give to give to anybody a member of the public but a particularly elected person information that they know to be false the proposed changes were central to the campaign by families on the 97 people killed in the 1989 stadium disaster to prevent future cover-ups <coughs> as with Grenfell and and uh, Hillsborough tragedies Burnham said there had been a decree of victim blaming we've infected people incorrectly accused of risky behavior and in the case of HIV stigmatized but Burnham said the contaminated blood scandal also had uh, disingenuous features which uh, had hampered public awareness when you think of Hillsborough or Grenfell everyone knows what they where they were or what uh, when they saw what happened he said and the thing is, those also is, is because they generally affected people from a particular place. There's a sort of community of people ready to band together and fight. This uh, contaminated blood scandal is happening silently by tens of thousands of people across uh, across the country who have no connection to each other and actually didn't understand what was happening. And that's why this, the story is, is still not clear. I guess the majority of people in the country, it uh, the majority of the people in the country, because it was a silent disaster. He described delays in compensation for some of those affected as awful, but expressed hope that publication of the final report would be a momentous day and would see the government finally step up the recommended framework for payouts and provide an alternative, an uh, authoritative statement of what happened. I don't think the government will. I think the government will will try and be. A... I'd like to think the government will do 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 take more action to this and ensure that all those who were responsible will get payment. But I'm I'm not holding my breath on this Conservative government. When you finally tell a victim of injustice something that is equal to what you've experienced as it, the effect of that is so profound on people, it's incredible, said Burnham. In this instance, despite people knowing this for decades themselves, to have the state of almost totally denying it and not even going near it, the extent of which kinds of compounds their hunt and of their uh, suffering, the second drama of all this, I think, is underplayed. It has taken a long time and cost to get to this point, Burnham said, adding that this was a product of this culture pulling down the shutters. The job of finding out the truth over decades gets bigger and more complicated the longer the cover-up has gone on, he said. Yeah, blood scandal, Hillsborough, Greenfield, bloody Sunday, 
post office scandal. Um, just so many scandals, guys. Just so many scandals. It's um, it's abhorrent. It's absolutely abhorrent. Yeah, all these every single one of these scandals. So many injustices on on these people. But the more you like, you just put all these together, and you just and you just ask yourself, how have both how have so many governments just not reacted more to these, not taking more of these into account? Obviously, some MPs and mayors themselves have, have responded, have have taken, and mayors themselves. But the system itself is just like just ignored the the suffering of many of these people. Because they don't want to to deal with it, they don't want to face up to it. Uh, that's how I generally feel about this when talking about these these situations. And uh, this final report's going to come out, and obviously everyone's going to talk about it. But what's next? You know, is there going to be all the compensation? Is there going to be some kind of uh, justice for those who were responsible for this? Is there going to be criminal charges coming? You know, so these these are the things that I that I ask myself. And I feel, I generally feel like, like how many scandals, scandals like these are gonna, is it gonna take for people to wake up? And I feel like the politicians just don't care enough about these, that they are more interested in their own selfishness, more interested in ensuring that they keep their power, more interested in just keeping the status quo. The public. I'd like to think that the public would want to change the status quo. You would think so after 14 years of conservatives. But whether they will or not will be another thing. But we'll have to wait and see on that. And uh, on this final report from the blood vic from the blood scandal. But what do you guys make of what Andy Burnham has said? What do you guys make of all these scandals uh, that we've talked that we've uh, spoken about? It is quite colossal the amount of damage that's been taking place. <sighs> Do we think there will ever be uh, justice be had yet for some of them? Let me know your thoughts and more in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. Share it across social media so others are notified of this video. And subscribe because it really does help support the channel. And if you want to go one step further, find to support me and the work that I do here, you can do so by becoming a YouTube member for as little as 99p. Or join me on Rumble, Patreon or Facebook for exclusive content on those platforms. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to catch you all very, very soon.